Hello, fellow Taurus. How are you doing? I had inspiration recently because I was seeing the Alan Alda flame competition and said, what is color? And I said, I need to enter that competition. And then I noticed the date. I could have been a contender, but instead I have a one-way ticket to Palookaville, which fortunately they have their worship of color. So I said, you know what? I'll find out about color anyway. So I got on the plane to get to Palookaville, and unfortunately it was delayed due to some unforeseen circumstance, maybe something having to do with me and Pi. But, you know, nothing that wouldn't have happened anyway, I'm sure. So I get there late, and my ticket, now that I think about it, when the t note to self, when the travel agent sells you a package with a one-way ticket, get suspicious. So I got there right in time to see the flight to the sun leaving. I thought that would be kind of cool, but then I realized when I took the trajectory that the flight was really to the sun and everyone died. You know, I guess it was a good thing that I missed that flight. So that's when I realized what color is. Color is just light. But then I found the most amazing thing. I think I saved you from that one. It was gonna get kind of hairy there. So the Taurus is quite right that color is light. There's one aspect that he didn't quite mention. And that's that color is also perception. See, light comes into our eyes. I've got a picture of this. So as you can see, we have an eye here. This is the color of the eye, and over here is the hole. Usually we see that as black because light doesn't come from inside the eye to go outside, and so there's no light coming out, so we don't see anything. It looks black. So when the light comes in, if it stimulates, means meaning that it makes this one go, hey, I see it. Then it says, hey, it's green. This one, it says, hey, I'm blue. This one says, hey, I'm red. All of them, hey, it's white. None of them is black. And then you have mixtures. When this one mixes with this, it becomes yellow. This one mixes with this, it becomes something called magenta. This one with this, it's something that's called cyan. Now, you might say, hey, I'm not used to red, blue, and green being the mixing colors. I want to have yellow there. So that's what happens with pigments, with paint. They take out colors. And so you mix what's taken out. If you take out blue and uh, you'll have the red and um, yellow, the red and green making yellow. And then when you take out blue, uh, then we take out red from that, then you're, you're not showing much color. And so that you filter out more and it becomes a brown or a black. And that's what's happening. You have these three types of receptors. And that's why it's called the RGB monitor. Hey, what's happening? Stop that! Okay, so. I don't know what happened there. Technical difficulties, I guess. So, after I had escaped a fate equal to death, then I found this guy, and he looked like he was a bum, but he evidently was some sort of genius or something, and he was trying to scout me tickets to the Electron Party, the gala event of that nanosecond or something like that. So, I bought three. I don't know who I gave the other tickets to, but I was so excited I decided to buy three. And I took pictures. Unfortunately, they just came out as flashes of light. So I drew pictures and I hope that it will explain what happened well enough. So this is what I saw in the electron part. It kind of simplified. You can see the electron here, proton here. It looks like he's stalking the electron, but they're kind of stalking each other because of the positive and negative charges. They like to come to each other. And so the electron's going out there and he wants to get something to eat. So he, he uh, had a blue teeny. And then he finishes his blue teeny and he goes over to the buffet bar. And he decides he's gonna, you know, try some of the, the green pasta. 
and since this is and I'm representing here it's, it's a purple electron so it can only accept things that make purple so he doesn't feel so good I'm sorry uh, those of you who are kind of sensitive might not want to look at the next picture Uh, so he decides that he's going to give the uh, green electrons to someone else. Yeah, give. Okay. And then that propels him over towards the red electron. I don't know what that one was. Maybe licorice. And so in the end, what you have is what's called a Feynman di diagram. What this is is essentially a map of what happens according to time. So I enter the party. And he's drinking the blue teeny. And then he wanders over until he gets to the green pasta photon. And that pushes him over till he gets feeling kind of uh, like that's not what he wants. So he gives it to someone else. And then he wanders over to the licorice. So Feynman diagram. I am so sorry that you had to experience that. Taurus is a little bit out there in his perceptions of the universe, and sometimes they aren't the most pleasant ones. But really what's happening is not that electrons have personalities of their own, they just attract photons. They take in photons, photons move them around, kind of like billiard balls, not like moving around. And when they take them in, it's not like they digest them or anything quite ordinary. They just hold on to them maybe would be a better metaphor. And then they let go of them. And so certain electrons, because of how they're positioned around the proton, they only take in certain photons because of their wavelengths again. And because of that, some of them wouldn't accept that green. And then they would let out that green exactly as it had come in instead of accepting and changing it. And so that's why we get the reflection of colors from the things that we see. So every time you see colors, it's just the electrons being shot back out, out of the pictures or the paintings or the shirts or faces or whatever we see. And it's really not digestion. So don't consider it that. Those poor, poor electrons, those poor, poor electrons.